Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Back in 2012 the remains of King Richard III were discovered in a council car park in Leicester. And now, the remains of an Anglo-Saxon prince from the 6th century have been discovered between a pub and an Aldi supermarket in Prittlewell, near Southend in Essex. It doesn't sound too glamorous, but it is being dubbed the UK's answer to Tutankhamun's tomb by experts. Which, I have to admit, is a somewhat dramatic headline. Although a truly fantastic find for British history, it's certainly not comparable to the riches and treasures found in the tomb of the Egyptian king. The comparison is more about the fact that like the Egyptian boy king, this royal tomb in Britain was also found undisturbed and comes from an era of history where very little has remained. The grave site was actually discovered back in the year 2003. The remains of a timber structure that would have once covered the site were discovered, measuring 13 feet by 5 feet, and as well as the body of the prince, it housed around 40 rare and precious artefacts. Like the tomb of Tutankhamun, thankfully this tomb wasn't looted and the finds remain intact. These finds include a lyre, a type of ancient harp, and fragments of a 1,400 year old box thought to be the only surviving example of painted Anglo-Saxon woodwork in Britain. Immaculate gold coins were also discovered, the beautifully decorated gold neck of a wooden drinking vessel, decorative coloured glass beakers, drinking horns as well as a flagon believed to have come from the Byzantine Empire. There was also this incredibly preserved solid gold belt buckle found inside the burial chamber. According to archaeologists, each piece had been placed into the tomb as part of a carefully choreographed burial rite, indicating that this was the resting place of a man of royal lineage. Of the prince himself, very little remains, and all we find are tooth enamel fragments, so the identity of the tomb, being that of a prince, is educated guesswork based on the quality of finds in the tomb. The tooth enamel tells us that the prince was older than six years old when he died, but sadly, not a lot else. He was likely an adult, and from analysing the tomb, researchers say he stood around 5 foot 8 inches tall. The team of archaeologists from the Museum of London Archaeology were said to be astounded to find the burial chamber intact, as it is the oldest example of a Christian Anglo-Saxon royal burial ever discovered in Britain. Some thought the remains belonged to Sabert, Saxon King of Essex, who ruled from 604 to 616 AD, but radiocarbon dating and other tests indicate the tomb was built 11 years before the death of the king, and therefore it is highly unlikely to have been built for him. Therefore, the experts now believe that this is the tomb of his brother, Prince Saxa. Sabert and Saxa's mother was from the Kentish royal family and their maternal aunt was a French princess named Bertha, who married into the royal family and brought her Christian faith to Britain, which at the time was mainly pagan. Gold crosses were discovered in the tomb which would have covered the eyes of the body and the coins found in the chamber display Christian symbolism, and therefore the researchers believe the tomb represents a transitional moment in the country's history as Christianity began to take hold. Sophie Jackson, Director of Research for the Museum of London Archaeology, said, This is one of the most significant archaeological finds ever seen in Britain. It is the British equivalent of Tutankhamun's tomb, as everything in it is just as it was left 1,400 years ago. She continued, It was found on an uncompromising site, which is just really a grass verge, but this is an aristocratic burial site, and the artefacts provide a great insight into religious life at the time. Archaeologists have recreated the Tomb of the Prince in painstaking detail after 15 years of excavation by a team of 40, and this is how they believed it looked when he was buried. Talking to the Independent newspaper, Professor Simon Keynes of Trinity College said the find and subsequent research has helped transform our understanding of early history. Historians do have Bede's ecclesiastical history of the English people, but Britain has always been short of material finds from Anglo-Saxon Britain, and so this discovery is incredibly valuable. From May the 11th onwards, objects from the Prittlewell site will go on permanent display at Southend Central Museum for all to see. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.